All right, so if you see over here, it looks like somebody's been making it rain. All these fake banknotes and stuff. See this? Well, I noticed that in Vietnam. What it is, is people, they burn this kind of like fake money and they believe that it's getting sent up into the heavens to the, the relatives to support them in the afterlife. Well, I don't know why dead people would need fiat currency in the magical land in the sky, but apparently that's what they believe. So that's why they do it. Uh, anyway, down here, I believe, is the clan jetties, which is like people living in houses on stilts next to the river, something like that. I'm gonna go check that out. Right, so look at this. Well, I'm not talking about the two girls wearing elephant pants, that's a bloody disgrace. I'm saying, well, I want to look at girls, I don't want to look at them wearing elephant pants, though. I'm saying, look at this, these houses all along the river here on stilts. Now, as Penang's been built up over the years, you see these big buildings and stuff, it looks like these buildings have stayed the same. Just makeshift looking on the river, on stilts, and I don't know what the history of these things are, but I guess back in the days when there were like fishing families and stuff, and it's probably been passed through generations, but I'm gonna see if I can, I think I'm gonna have to go a long way around and see if I can walk down there. I don't know if that's uh, like people's private neighborhood or whatever, but I'm sick of looking at these elephant plants, I'll tell you that much. Hi. Even if she's a pretty girl, a girl in elephant pants, it's a big no-no. Mm -mm. ah, here we go. Looks like this is the way in, and I guess that's the neighbourhood water tank. Can't imagine what else it might be. Uh, so, it looks like just one long and full of tourists as well. Can you imagine living in these houses, and then you're having to deal with all these tourists walking up and down your neighborhood all day. In fact, this is, this is not the main one. Ah, oh, that's the main one over there. This is where the girls were with their elephant pants, I think. That's where I'm coming down. Can you imagine if you're living here? Look at those cows, aren't they? Very colorful. Imagine if you're living here and you've just got all day tourists coming up and down, passing your house. No wonder they've got the bloody uh, blind shut. Aye, no privacy at all. Just staring through your windows and stuff. Look, all them blacked out windows. Massive gates. Aye. What's going on here? Looks like here, oh wow. Looks like this guy's breeding dogs. Wow. There's maybe like 30, 30 dogs. Look at them, wee pug. Aren't you a wee cutie? Aren't you cute? <laughs> so, that was noisy though. I think this guy's just breeding pug. Pugs, hi, God, too noisy for me. Oh, I'm a bloody headache. Right, maybe I'll go down and see that girl wearing elephant pants and push her in the river. Teach her a lesson for disgracing the world with those horrible elephant pants. There she is. There, just one wee push. That was all it take. Rid the world of one more elephant pants wearer. <laughs> just go and do it. Just one boot, like this, bang, and then you're done. That's it, <laughs> in the drink, those elephant pants ruined. <laughs> oh, the, the bad thoughts that go through my head. Right, this is a wee bit uh, dodgy, see this? Look at that, what we're walking on here. <laughs> I don't know, what is this? People are down here, oh, okay. Don't want to fall in the drink, uh, like I intended the elephant girl to do, but, I need to squeeze past people, don't I? Oh. See, I think this might be a restaurant or something. Well, I did say I was coming to eat and drink, so let's see what it is. UNESCO World Heritage Tan Jetty. What is it? Oh, it's a temple. That's what it is. It's just, just a wee temple. I'm not interested. Not interested in temples, so I'm going to try and find my way over there. That looks uh, basically like what I just passed, but bigger and maybe better and maybe not anybody wearing elephant pants around either so let's go up so look at this there was me wondering why people would put up with tourists coming up and down their street but apparently this place is just a huge tourist trap now it's just selling tit selling tat selling bric-a-brac selling like garbage for the tourists super soakers and fake sunglasses and stuff so it doesn't look like anybody even lives here anymore. It's just some 
garbage tourist shops. Look, postcards and all, all that mints. Aye. Don't even know if I should bother walking to the end. Pretty sure the last time I was here, must have been at least five or six years ago, I'm pretty sure there was people living here. Maybe I'm mistaken, but look, just toys and tacky souvenirs everywhere. Or maybe somebody living in this one. Aye, right, look, cannot take fall. This guy's well boarded up. Look, cannot take fall. Well, I'm taking a video, mate. Aye, right, and this one as well. So it looks like there are a couple of people still living here. They're probably like the, the, the diehards. They're like, I'm not going to give up my home for a bloody tourist shop. I'm staying here. And my family's lived here for three generations, that's what they're saying. I ain't bloody moving. And the rest of the shop's just tourist crap, innit? It's just, just rubbish. Ice cream shops and stuff, so... Let's, get, let's just get out of here, eh? Nonsense. Ah, oh, wait a minute. That might be interesting. Uh-oh. That might be interesting around this roundabout. There is an old fort. And I like forts. They're very interesting. They come with a lot of history. And this one. It looks like I can't even turn into it. It's in there. How, where the hell do I go? Where do I park my bike? Then, if I want to go in there, must be another way around. Oh, that's annoying. Right, let me see if I can find my way in there. There's no way in there. How do I get in? Well, oh, it looks like I can just sneak through here. Huh. I guess. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna, it's not gonna fit. How the hell? I may actually just go in the wrong way, the opposite side, because it doesn't look like anybody's coming out. Okay, let's do this. No entry. Your man's entering. There we go. I parked my bike under the tree. It's the only possible way I could have done it. Although there's cars coming from that direction and I'm going in the opposite way in a one way system. I don't know how the heck to get up that way, so. In fact, look, there's a wee parking space, so that's your man's completed his mission. Oh, okay. 20, ring it. You still open, yes? Yeah. What time this closes? 10. 10? 10 p.m.? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, one ticket is, okay, foreigner price, 20, okay. Looks like 10 for locals, right? 20 for foreigners. Okay. In fact, maybe you can give me change of 50. I have, but then I have used all my change and nobody oh. else wants to give me change. Oh. It's a big problem. Oh, no. Big problem for me. Okay. okay, that's really good of you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, good. I can take this. It's can, free. Can, can. Good. Okay. Oh, this for my arm, is it? Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, got my armband and my information, and now I'm about to enter Fort Cornholio, Fort Cornwallis. Right. Amazing, it's open till 10 pm, isn't it? Right. Let's check this place out then. Oh, nothing much inside, and all the scaffolding. It's kind of ugly to see in it, and then some shop and stuff. In fact, I guess I'll start this direction. All I want to do is just have a wee wander around while reading about the history of this place. Okay, so I've had a read of the pamphlet, so I'm a bit of an expert on the history of this place now. And apparently, in 1786, Captain Francis Light landed here in Penang with his crew from the British East India Company, and they took possession of Penang, and they built this fort, a star-shaped fort, and it later became known as uh, Fort Cornwallis over the governor of Bengal, Charles Marquis Cornwallis. Uh, and then it was used as a timber stockade for about 10 years after that. And then it holded some British army troops during World War II and stuff like that. So, uh, aye, there's old cannons and stuff there. Maybe these are original. Like, can you imagine that? 200 year old cannons. Not in the best of shape. I don't think that would be working very well now. But, uh, God, this is awful, isn't it? There's bloody cranes and construction work and stuff. Not the nicest place to have a wee wander around, but look at the size of that big cannon there. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Let's go up and we look at this. This is awful, though, having to listen to this bloody construction work from the outside. Let's see. Aye. 
an ugly place this isn't it really ugly all this construction around yeah. oh, let's have a look at this anyway Okay, so what they're saying about this cannon is it was made by the Dutch East India Company in 1613 and it was sunk in somewhere and came out afloat in 1880 and it was found. So it's absolutely ancient. What's that? Like 300 and something years old. Aye. What the hell? And this, just annoying, isn't it? Horrible. You pay your 20 ringgits to come and have a look around some nice fort and you're standing looking at that, listen to it and uh, aye, there's not a lot to see here is there? Feeling a bit ripped off to be honest with you guys That's what I get for taking myself to tourist traps, that clan jetties A bunch of shops selling tat, this Fort Cornholio It's just a pamphlet and a few rusty old cannons and some loud cranes Maybe there's something more interesting here, oh there's coconuts that's interesting, if I could steal a coconut, I feel like I deserve one or two or three for the price of my 20 ringgits Maybe I could just pick one Look, that might be within arm's reach, the tiny ones are within arm's reach Let's see if I can get one Let's see Don't know I don't know if that's ripe or not If I could I'd just pull that off But uh, no way to open it, so we'll just leave it alone And have another wee wander around Fort Cornwallis, Francis Light, 1786. I told you that information. You don't need to read the signs. Listen to your man; he's an expert on this place. Aye. Oh look, there's a gift shop. Fantastic. Uh, where did I come in? I think I came in through that direction. So what am I doing now? Surely there's more to see than just this. There's another gate here. I don't think that's the way I came in, or is it? No, that door's locked. You can't go through that way. Because well, that's just all the construction work and garbage. Uh, this is it. I mean, pff, it's just disappointing, isn't it? How have, they got, how have they got the cheek to charge 20 ringgits for this? There's nothing to see. Bloody scaffolding and construction work and you're just in this one square. It seems like there's more stuff that goes over that way, but pff, you can't get to it. There's a lighthouse over there though I guess I'll go and check that out In fact, I'll go the long way Looks like I can get, can I get around this way? Or not? I don't know I don't think I can Can I? Eh, uh, nope Huh Well Is that just a worker or is that a tourist? Because it looks like there is stuff up there No, it looks like he works here Huh, that's the jail, it looks like Maybe he's the jailer Eh uh, I'll see if I can find a sneaky way in there. In fact, I could just go underneath that. Hi, how are you? Hello. I can get in this way? I cannot come in, no? Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Ah, huh? oh, they're doing construction? Yeah. Oh, okay. Should really, if half the place is under construction, I should be getting half price. And even if I did get half price, I'd still be paying full price, the full local price. Hi. That's it, no more tourist traps, no more nonsense Just make your own adventures, why would you come to places like the Clan Jetty and the bloody Cornholio Fort and pay your money, 20 ringgits wasted, that could have bought pff, that meal I had, that first meal I had of the day, that, that yummy banana leaf meal You could have that or you could walk around this bloody broken tiles and noisy cranes and construction work Anyway, that lighthouse, there might be something up there Let's go have a wee wander I guess that'll be the most interesting If I can get to the top of there and have a nice view I'll consider that something I won't consider it 20 ringgits worth of something But I'll consider it something And this, it looks like they've got a kind of stage here And maybe they do performances I feel like for 20 ringgits somebody should be giving me a bloody song and dance Should be getting a performance So I should For my 20 ring pieces Right This lighthouse I mean Look, listen to this Just noise The bloody shop or restaurant they've built That's also making noise Just Just rubbish innit, really 
what a disappointment. And they say, oh, we keep this place open till 10 p.m. Why? What, because of the demand? Because of the huge demand that so many people want to come here? And walk around the fort till 10 p.m.? <sighs> right. How do I get into this? Looks like there's gates here. I just push this open. Oh, well, guess what? The lighthouse is closed. Like everything else. Can I, is there any way I can let myself in? Well, that is barricaded, closed. So, you can't even get into the lighthouse. What have I paid 20 ringgits for? Be all. This is a disgrace. Is there another way around? No, look, that's the bloody walls there. <sighs> this is nonsense. Well, there we go. Nothing around here. Well, look at this. Would you believe it? The other side of the fort. Just more construction. So that side, that side, and that side. All three sides, apart from the entrance that came in, have construction around it. And, like I said, there's half the fort over there that you can't even go to. Hi. Alright, okay, I'm done. 20 ringgits well spent. The woman even begrudgingly giving me change of her 50, as if it's unbelievable that somebody will try and pay for a 20 ringgit bloody entrance with a 50 note. The bloody cheek. The dirty, dirty. Hey, this was well worth 20 ringgits, right? Again? You think this was well worth 20 ringgits? This place? Uh, Not really, no. <laughs> so much to see. Yeah, there's like, I think there's a huge area over there they've closed off and then it's just ugly construction work there, there and there. And you can't even get inside the lighthouse, that would be the best place, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go explore, explore more in Penang. You figured out anything else to do in Penang? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going now to, to see the, just the, all the street out, the, the district. Oh, like the, uh, where all the street food is and everything yes. like that. Okay, that's, that, yeah, you can't be disappointed with that. Good food and stuff, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. okay, so have fun, guys. Yeah, see you. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not the only one who is disappointed with this place, it seems. Just, I think the only other two, oh, there's some more tourists have just came in, I think. So they're about to find out how disappointing this place is. But, uh, I, <laughs> your man's not too impressed. Right, let's do one and get out of here I think I literally spent, let's see that camera's been rolling 11 minutes since I came through the gates that tells you something eh and that's with me vlogging as well if I wasn't vlogging, 5 minutes I'd be done 5 minutes uh, what do you think of the fort? what do you think of it? think it was good? It's a uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a bit. You think uh, 20 ring is a bit expensive yes. for. Uh, for that, yes. Yeah, I think I was in 10 minutes at most. Yes. And there's nothing, and it's ugly construction work here yeah. and here and here. Yeah. yeah, I think they're very cheeky to ask for 20. Maybe 5 is enough, I think, for, for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, have fun, guys, have fun. Okay, back on the bike. So it seems all tourists in consensus with your man's opinion that that fort is a waste of money a total waste of money should maybe warn people who are coming don't go in the fort guys should I let them? should I warn them? or should I just let them go in? Ah, I'll just let them go in uh, <laughs> just let them go in uh, but I'll just get back on the bike shall I and go look for more food what else is there to do? that's what those couple up there were saying we're just going to go to the, the main street area and eat food what else is there to do? Are you going to the fort? Yes. It's a waste of time, really. Yes. Everyone I talk to as well, they agree if you ask those couple. Right. This is construction all three sides. They're asking 20, 20 ringgit each for entrance and there's nothing and it's like there's noisy cranes on the other side. Oh. Really, like I'd strongly advise you not to give them your 20 ringgits, but like if you have nothing else to do and 20 ringgits is nothing to you, I guess, go for a wander around. But you'll be in there five minutes at most, I promise you. Yeah. Uh, really, like, right. if you take my advice. Uh, I'm okay, <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, so see you. Okay, so I've just screwed Fort Cornholio out of 40 ringgits and saved that couple a wee bit of time and disappointment. Good on me, eh? So, the clan jetties, Fort Cornwallis, 
two awful tourist traps to be avoided when you're in Penang and it is always important to avoid the traps when you travel that leaves you with less regrets and more time to spend doing more important things like eating all the food which is why I came to Penang in the first place so uh, thanks for watching remember to avoid the traps and we'll see you on the next video with a plate of food or two or three probably